Hi everyone, this is Lily. Today I'm going to be unboxing a thread up box, a women's thread up box of 25 items. Actually, I got 27. Um, and I'll tell you why in a minute. Why I think, anyway, which is probably <laughs> not why. It was probably just a miscount. But anyway, the box was $60, was $5.99 shipping. So with 27 items, my cost of goods was $2.45 a piece. Now I got 27 items and could be they just miscounted, but I know that there's at least two items uh, in the box that is not sellable. So um, I was kind of thankful for that. Um, but anyway, I'm, I'm excited about this box and I normally don't buy pre-owned mystery type clothing boxes because I've always just been afraid to spend the money. I've watched a lot of videos um, of several different YouTubers and some are happy, some aren't, some get some really messed up clothing. Um, so I just really didn't want to take that step. I usually buy um, wholesale boxes from several different companies that are either new with tags or new without tags or from uh, boutique stores where I order exactly what I want and you know so I know what's coming I know I can get it ready to post and you know listed um, before it even gets here so when it gets here it's just bam 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 and I'm done and multiples you know I like getting some multiples um, not all but I, I like to get some anyway I don't uh, don't want to keep you too long because I also ordered that same day a thread up girls box kids and a thread up kids boys box and I'm gonna do those also today I'm not sure when I'm gonna upload them but I'm extremely happy with both of those two and I don't sell kids clothing um, but I'm probably gonna start because my idea that and maternity with all this stuff going on this past year and just my opinion may or may not be true or not true but I have a feeling we're gonna have a lot of babies soon and a lot of pregnant women because there's either gonna be a lot of divorces or a lot of babies I prefer to think there's gonna be a lot of babies so with that said I decided to start uh, looking at, uh, into kids clothes a little bit too just so, because I think there's gonna be a need and that's something you guys might want to think about too um, so anyway very, very pleased with this box. I got my first ever Lululemon. And I've never owned one. I've never seen one thrifting, because I do thrift. But like I said, I get to uh, pick it. So, you know, I get to look at it, I get to pick it. I, you know, before, it's not a surprise to me. <laughs> anyway, so. Let's get started. The first item I actually have on because I thought, well, since I've never owned a Lululemon, maybe I'll just keep this one. And I decided against it because even though it's supposed to be my size, I prefer things just a little bit bigger. Um, it's nice. It's hooded. Let me see. I don't know if I can. Yeah. It's hooded. It's got this breathable flap. Really, really like it. It's like the um, army green. Um, and I never knew this, but look, you can cover your whole hands. Isn't that not cool? So I'm going to end up listing this and this will probably almost or pay for the, the entire box. So I'm happy about that. I also have on, which I'm not going to show you because I'm chunky, um, or under armor, um, yoga pants and they came messy they had stains looks like grease stains on them food stains um, so I washed them I actually only washed these two items because I thought well let me wash those see if I can get the stains out but that's an, one of the items that's not sellable so I did manage to get them on so I'll keep them for myself for around the house but I am going to list this Lululemon I absolutely love it but I'll wait for one that fits me a little bit better so let's get started And I haven't washed these yet. I haven't steamed anything yet. And I haven't photographed 
any of this box yet. Um, and I do have a question for some of you that are watching. Some of these items, especially the yoga pants, are coming with the tags ripped off. So I don't know what the size is. Like these, the armor, all the yoga pants that, that I have on now, um, couldn't get a size. They looked really, really small. But now I wear a size large and I got them on. They're comfortable. They, they don't feel binded. So I'm, I'm assuming they're large. Um, I don't know. But what do you do? How do you sell the ones that, that someone has ripped the tag out of? I know you can measure them, but if I was to measure these pants or see a listing of these pants measured, I'd have never bought them. But trying these on, they fit nice. They're comfortable. So, you know, I'm not really sure how to do that. But anyway, these are nice, and I think I might keep these because I think there was a little bit of a, what do you call it, beading, and the band is, it's been washed quite a bit. But anyway, these are nice uh, palazzo pants, and now it's time for me to put my glasses on for the rest of the video. These are Urban X size large palazzo pants and they've got this nice tie-dye detail on the bottoms of the legs they're black I love these so these I will probably keep for me because I think they've been washed too many times for me to actually list them and here we have beyond yoga I am beyond flexible, and this has got the nice fabric. I don't know if you can see that. Um, these are in really good shape. They look like the capris, but the tag is ripped out. And I know I can get a decent price for these, but um, there's no tag. So I don't know what size they are. And I did get some summer stuff. A lot of summery stuff, spring and summer. So that was good because we're coming into spring and summer. These are J. Crew extra extra small shorts. Sorry, hundred percent cotton. These are really nice uh, light teal pockets. Nice pair of shorts. And then we have another J, no, yeah, J. Crew Chino, size zero in this mauve color. And these are in good shape. And this one took me forever to research. I'm not sure why, but this is a Mark Jacobs, size four, wool. Fifty percent cotton, twenty percent wool, and I just love this the detail on the bottom of the skirt. I don't know if you could see that pleat on the bottom of the skirt, and look at this nice, cute bow on on the back bottom. Isn't that adorable? I love that. If I was still working in an office, I would definitely want something like that. And here we have an Athleta Stellar Scort, size small and black. This is nice. It's in very good condition. A zipper uh, works. <laughs> it work, yeah. And see, there's um, shorts underneath. That's very nice. I like this. So. I mean, already I've got a great box. I can cannot complain at all. And let's see what we have here. We have a, a Gap, size small. It's a cotton pencil skirt. And it's in really nice condition in navy blue. Zipper back. I don't know if you can see that. Can you see that? 
think you can. A lot of skirts in this one. Um, but that's okay, because a lot of them are like, uh, this is another J. Crew size 2, fully lined. Um, I believe these are shorts. So, nope, it's not shorts. This is just a little mini flare skirt. J. Crew size 2 in navy blue. That's nice. It's in great condition. Everything's there. Zipper works. And I thought this one was nice it's a nice larger size it is Talbot's size 8 larger than what I've been getting it's got this nice diagonal pattern and here we have a Terramar size medium long sleeve it's got Branding there, another branding there. That's nice, and it's kind of the high low, you can see that. And here we have an express, uh, extra small, very nice shirt. Feels like silk, but it's, of course, polyester. Back up a little bit so you can see. And here we have a Victoria's Secret Extra Small. I believe it's silk, but I can't find the tag that says what it is. It's just a short uh, after bath robe, over your jammies robe. It's got this neat little... It's in good condition. I didn't see any frays or snags or pulls. But again, I can't... It feels like silk. Not quite sure. Oh, this one was nice, but it's missing a button. This is Who, What, Where. I believe that's a Target brand. Size medium. Uh, very sheer. I don't know if you can see my hand through there. But it's a beautiful shirt. But it is missing, missing the button. I don't know if you can see that. I do not sew. So, I'm not sure if I'm going to list that or not. Here we have an Old Navy Extra Large V-neck t-shirt uh, dress with a ruffled bottom up at the end. It's got this just straight back elastic top. And this one, I need to take a sweater shaver to it, um, and I think I can. It'll be salvageable. This is a great J. Crew size small. Um, it has the nice 100% leather sleeve at the bottom. Just a nice lightweight knit ribbed bottom. A little bit of a slit on the side. This will be nice if I can shave it. It's got some fur balling going on. But I love those. I love the leather on both of the sleeves there. That's nice. And I can't pronounce this. I think it's Stella Loose. It's just a nice, soft, crop sleeve, black. It's pretty much a straight dress. Very comfortable fabric. Let's see if it was lined. And it is lined. So it must not be, it must be a decent brand because it's lined all the way down. And here we have a loft. Extra large. It's a nice black shirt. Nice, nice gold buttons on the sleeves. Let's see if I can get the material. It's nice and soft. 100% polyester. 
And here I have a 100% two-ply cashmere little cardigan by Cynthia Rowley. Now this, I don't know if you can see it, but I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to save this one. It's, it's a lot of balling, and I don't know, I guess maybe that's normal, and all this has to be steamed out because it's got a nice ruffled edge, but I don't know, it's just been sitting for a while or what, but I'm not sure how to unball all this. I don't, can you see that? I'm trying to get it. Or is it supposed to be like that? <laughs> I don't own a cashmere, so I really couldn't tell you. This is a size extra small. And here's a nice J. Crew dress size 2, fully lined. It's a nice polka dot. Midi dress. Great for spring coming, summer. Here we have a Forever 21, size small, and a fully lined, just a little dress. V neck belt. Cute. And Taylor size large. Black shirt. It's very sheer. Can you, I don't know if you can see my hand through there. Yeah. These have got some really pretty uh, sleeves. A little bit of a a bell sleeve, and I don't know, can you see the pattern? Trying to see through. That's really nice. This is in good shape. Very good shape. Excellent. And this is another one I don't know that I could, I'm going to be able to sell it. This is a silence plus noise, and I, I believe it's a bed jacket. It's awfully short. Um, I'm not really sure if, if anyone knows if this is a bed jacket I did try to do some research there is a little pleated in the back um, it's in great shape uh, it needs to be washed but I don't know what it is and then here we have a Nike dry fit size medium so we've got the uh, the dry fit tag there. <laughs> and the Nike. Oh, oh, I hate this. I can't ever. I need a bigger screen so I can see. Anyway, that's a nice item. And then we have a Michael Michael Kors and this like Kelly Green size small. And uh, also 100% polyester. Long sleeve, button up. It's Michael Kors. And here we have another Ann Taylor. This is a nice uh, peachy color and an extra large sleeveless. It's got this nice uh, ruffle on the bottom here. This is very nice. Probably, again, 100% polyester. I don't know, dry clean only. Yeah, polyester. Now, this last item was not in this box. It was in my girl's box. Now, and it's a new tag jacket, wool jacket, fully lined, beautiful, um, nice lace detail around the waist, all the way around the back. But this is a women's small. Um, I was happy to get it in my girl's box, but I decided to go ahead and include it in this video because um, I don't want to show it in a kid's box because it's not kids. This is this is nice. I like this too. Won't sell for maybe twenty dollars, but um, hey, every bit counts. So 
as you can see, I have more than made my money back on this box and probably tripled, um, possibility quadrupled. So I'm, I'm extremely happy with thread up boxes right now. Um, the kids boxes, I you know I had, I need to learn how to sell those, probably bundle a few things together. I got some, some nice stuff and I'll, I'll video those here, um, shortly. I probably won't upload all of them today, but, um, do it. I have put it off and put it off and put it off and I finally just said, what the heck, I need to fill up my closet, I need to get some bread and butter things, so I've ordered some Target, even new tags from Target, and I've got a bunch of mystery boxes coming. I don't know what's coming, there's just a lot of stuff coming. I did get my back stock um, order today. I got three boxes delivered just today, and I wasn't going to do... A video today and I thought oh my gosh if I don't get a video up today um, or at least get this done and get this stuff listed and out of my way so I can open another box um, time is just gonna get away from me and um, so I try to unbox it I'm gonna try to do a video every time I unbox and then I'm gonna try to photograph and list everything before I break into another box because I have a really bad habit of procrastinating and then I'm busting butt to get it done so but the items I do order like from backstock for instance I will go ahead and get all my photos done I'll grab one stock photo and then so all I got to do is take uh, one or two stock photos and all I have to do is take some pictures of the tag or the packaging and they're already ready to go I mean they'll be zip 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 when I open those so I'm happy about that um, so anyway, thank you for watching. Sorry, it was a little bit long. And again, I have a couple programs I'm trying to figure out with YouTube um, to where I can edit things and add links and all that stuff. So I'm going to try to do attempt to do that with this one. If it doesn't um, work out, well, oh well, I'll figure it out. You're going to watch it anyway, right? Hopefully. Um, so anyway, subscribe, like. Um, leave me comments, uh, suggestions, you know, I'm open to anything, especially with this YouTube stuff, because, you know, it's totally new to me. I love watching YouTube. I watch hours and hours and hours a week of multiple people, um, but I have no idea what I'm doing, so, um, <coughs> excuse me, I have a little bit of cold, too. Um, we're going to get snow today here in Tennessee, um. In the area I live in never hardly gets any snow, so that's going to be nice. Um, anyway, oh, you can hear the train rolling in the back. See, I live in the middle of nowhere, and there goes my dogs. So anyway, I'm going to say bye for now before they get crazy on me. And I will talk to you again soon. Louis out.